Having an attractive site is obviously important for making a good first impression on your visitors. This is why it's crucial that you use great-looking images to accompany your site copy and to communicate the overall personality of your company. However, it's also important that you optimize your images for indexing by the search engines and optimize them so that they will load quickly. This video will provide you with specific instructions on how to optimize your site images using alt tags and other tools. First, let's explore how your images quote-unquote look to the search engines. Search engines send out automated programs called spiders that crawl your site and search for what type of content it contains. Although spiders aren't able to actually see the images, they are able to read the text which is associated with those images. And with this information, and the information gathered from the rest of your content and your metadata, the search engine determines the theme of your site. And there are actually three types of text that the search engine spiders quote-unquote see when they look at your images. The image alt tags, which are also accessible by means of programs that dictate text to web users who are vision impaired. The actual name of your image files, for example, oceanlandscape.jpg. And the image captions, or the text which is found directly beside, over, or underneath your images. Optimizing each of these types of text enhances the SEO of your site and assists you further in communicating your site's theme to the search engines. Since Google and other search engines are unable to see your images, it is important that you use this alternative text, or alt text, to tag the images with the information you want the search engines to know about the images that you have on your site. These alt tags will help the search engines locate your images and display them in the SERPs. Now with current technology at least, Google doesn't know that you have an image of a flying squirrel on your site unless you tell it. So be sure to optimize your alt tags. Every time you put a new image onto your site, you'll be asked to input what is called an alt tag to describe the image. And you want to use this to not only describe the image, but also use the opportunity to use appropriate keywords for which you're optimizing that specific page for. As always, keyword stuffing won't do you any favors, but good keyword usage will. Same goes for the actual image file names. When you create and save the images for your site, it's a good idea to use your keywords in the image file name as well. Just be sure, of course, that you still have a way to distinguish the images on your site from one another. You don't want all of your images using the same keyword or keywords, so don't be super generic or repetitive here. When naming your images, be as descriptive as possible. You want keyword-rich words to describe the image to the search engines, so think about how you would easily, efficiently, and effectively describe the image to someone who's visually impaired, for instance. Also, it is important to note that decorative images should not have alt tags. Search engines like Google could end up penalizing you for over-optimization if you start using the alt tag option to stuff keywords into your page for borders, for decorative lines, or other decorative images. So only describe quote-unquote real images in the title or description and use the alt tag for images that require them, not just every icon or image file because you can. Image captions above or below your images are an additional measure of optimization. For example, if you have an image of a before and after shot of a customer for an exercise or diet site, you might want to use the following caption. Jane says the healthy weight loss plan helped her go from a size 14 to a size 6. As always, just be sure that the use of your keywords within your captions looks natural and that it adds value to the visitors who are viewing the site. If you have any links, either on your site or off, which are leading to your images, again be sure to use keywords within the anchor text of that link as well. And as a final step, you can check to see if your images have been indexed in Google Images. To do this, just go to Google Images and type in site colon yoursite.com into the search bar. Once you do this, you'll see a page displaying the images on your site as they have been indexed by Google Images. And if some potentially keyword-rich or description-rich images are missing here, then you know what to do. And just a few last tips. As you're probably already aware, don't use large images on your site and simply shrink them down in the code, as this will increase your load times. Be sure to compress your images properly beforehand, down below 70K whenever possible, while of course still making sure that they are clear and crisp for viewing. Only use images on your site that are directly related to your theme or topic. If you have tons of images, consider using an image sitemap for optimizing indexing. Now, optimizing your images can do more than just increase the SEO of your site. It will also help you get traffic from Google Images itself. Now, if you have a large website and you feel that the image data needs to be optimized according to the guidelines in this video, but don't have the time to do it yourself, you can always hire the job out. It's relatively simple and shouldn't break the bank. But images are a huge part of your Google searches, so they can help boost your website traffic if you know what you're doing. And it doesn't take long to go through the pages and add alt tags and proper descriptions, titles, and captions to your images. But it's very well worth the effort. 
and of course there are plenty of sites that offer images with royalty-free options. Some require you to pay a subscription fee, others on an image-by-image -image basis, and some are completely free. Each site's different, so be sure you read the instructions for each before using any of the images available on their site. And remember that when using image sources from other websites, it's important that you check your images for any broken links quite regularly, especially if the image source comes from smaller websites or ones that offer the image for free. Feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.